Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be using the Nail Addict LA gel polishes. So I am super excited and let's get right into it. So today I am doing the Apres dupe method, so they are already applied to my fingers, but if you would like to see an in-depth video of how I got these nails on, I will link it down in the description. So we're going to be going in with Secret Lover, which is the, just this beautiful pink, and I'm going to be applying that on top of all of the nails. Alright, so for the thumb application, I did leave it in regular speed for the beginning just to show you guys how nicely the gel polish goes on. Everything goes on super smooth, it's very easy to go around the cuticles and everything, and the coverage is very, very nice, it's like very full coverage. I think it looks stunning and it's so easy to use. I ended up only doing one coat of this gel polish for this nail set just because I do end up going in with two coats of top coat and I didn't want them to be thick but it ended up working out so well because these gel polishes don't like really need in my opinion a second coat. I think that they look absolutely stunning with just one and even with the second coat it looks the same so I decided to just stick with one. And yeah, I think it looks really great, guys. I also just wanted to let you guys know, if you'd like to um, save 40% on your orders with this company, I did leave my link in the description and the code, and I'll put it on the screen as well. It will just save you 40%, and you can buy some really nice gel polishes, and they are beautiful quality. So this is just that one coat. I'm going to go ahead and cure it in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, and then we are going to be going in with my McCart top coat. So I'm just going ahead and applying a thin layer of top coat to all the nails and this is just for when I do my nail art, I'm able to wipe it off if I make any mistakes and it just protects the layer of gel polish. So I'm just quickly going all over the nails and just putting a nice thin layer. Alright, so once the top coat is applied, I'm going to be going in with my C&D Cream Puff White Gel Polish as well as the Pearl River Nail Addict LA Gel Polish. And I'm going to go ahead and put that onto my palette. So I'm just going in with the Cream Puff first and making sure to put a nice thick amount. And then I'll go right beside that and put in the Pearl River. And then again, just put another stripe of white on the other side just so I have a good amount of product down on my palette. After that, I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and I'm going to start marbling around the gel polish. And you can do this till you are happy with the design that it creates. So once it's very beautiful like that, you're just going to take a flat brush, scoop up the product and then gently let it flow onto your nail. And this just lets that design stay on the brush and it just lays it, layers it out onto the nail and makes this absolutely stunning, super abstract, marbled look, which looks like that. And I think that it's so beautiful and it, it's such an effortless technique. I really, really wanted to try it. It is so much fun and oh my gosh, I want to do this with every color I own. I think it's absolutely stunning and it literally took me three seconds as you guys can see. It's like the easiest method to get like a really pretty marble. And I think the colors look so, so pretty. So yeah, I'm just doing that on my ring finger and my middle finger and after that I'll obviously go ahead and cure it so I'll be right back. And here is the absolutely stunning marble design, and I think it looks incredible. Alright, so once the marble design is done, I had decided to go ahead and do those like squiggly lines that people are very into on the internet right now. So this is my first time attempting to do these. I am not great with it, and I don't really have a super steady hand yet with nail art. So I did what I could, and I think that it turned out cute for my first try. Um, yeah, I think the blue and white really complement each other, and I think it looks stunning on top of the pink. 
So yeah, I'm just going ahead and I did a blue line and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the white right beside it. I would have tried to do another one but I did not want to test my luck because, you know, it turned out so well that I was actually surprised and I'm like, let me not screw it up. <laughs> so anyways, now I'm just doing the same exact design on the pointer finger. So once I'm done doing my blue line, I of course go ahead and cure it just to make sure that when I put the white it does not mix in. But I have to say I'm extremely impressed with the Nail um, Addict LA Gel Polish just because it's super great for nail art because it really is a nice thick consistency so it doesn't move a lot. But anyways, I went ahead and cured that and now I'm going in with my top coat. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this. I did put a little bit of a thicker top coat. Not a thicker top coat, but I did put a thicker layer of top coat just to even everything out because there are designs on top. So yeah, enjoy the top coating and I'll be right back. Alright, so once I'm done with the top coating, I will cure for 60 seconds and here are the nails all done. So I'm just going to go in with my cuticle oil and put it all over my cuticles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love how this design turned out. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like, use my code that will be linked down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.